Hello, my name is Lillian and my cat's name is Sasu. Sasu is eight years old and he's been diabetic for four months. And I'm going to show you how to measure his blood sugar. It's very good if you have cupboard like this. And here you can put all sorts of stuff you need for testing. First, I'm going to take out this meter. It's the same meter we use for humans. And here are the stripes. Take one stripe out and make sure to close it immediately. Then you're going to put it in like this. This colorful side up. And you don't have to turn it on. It turns on itself. And now it's ready. Then you take one cotton pad. It's been used by women for removing makeup. It's good to have a spare one. And you also will need a needle. You take the top off. And then you're ready to go. Now we're gonna take this cat's blood sugar. First of all, you would like something underneath on your lap so that the cat won't scratch you. And you will start by rubbing the cat's ear. This is the best way to get the blood to circulate. And it's good to have someone to stroke the cat at the same time. Then you're going to fold your cotton pad. And there's a blood vessel in a cat's ear. It's like one to two millimeters from the edge of the ear. And it's very important not to poke the blood vessel. If you do, don't worry, but don't do it every time. Try not to poke the blood vessel. One poke, and then you're gonna pump the blood out at the moment we have lots of blood. And then you're gonna use the meter, and it's already done. It shows 9.7. And then it's very important to put the pressure on, and why it's important otherwise. You will have a cat who has bruised ears and then you will have to measure blood sugar and you can't do it. So it's always good to put a pressure on. And as you can see, the cat is quite calm. It's not going to be like this in the beginning. In the beginning I recommend to do it on the floor and at the end you won't have to have someone holding the cat because you can do it wherever the cat is. So after you've measured the blood sugar, you should write it down and it's good to keep a diary. Uh, here's the date and I put here the morning number, how many units I've shot, where did I shoot? And here's like daytime measurement, evening measurement, how much I shot, where did I shoot, and measurement before I go to bed. So I try to measure at least once during the day and once before I go to bed and always before shooting the cat. Um, and it's very good to write down where you have shot the cat because it's very important not to shoot in the same spot at all times. I show you a page where I've found lots of help. It's felinadiabetes.com. Um, for example, you find here Lantus page where you can have lots of information. So from felinadiabetes.com you will find instructions how to make a spreadsheet and this spreadsheet you will see it has a date here's 
how many units here's how many units I've shot here's the measurement before the shot um, this is like two hours after the shot five hours after the shot and so on this is before the evening shot how many units I've shot in the evening and how many hours uh, after the shot for example four hours after the shot it was 30 and here are the remarks for example if my cat has thrown up or is not feeling well or is eating very much or not at all and so on um, and as you can see in the beginning we had lots of bad numbers black numbers here are nice colors Black colors show that the blood sugar is really, really dangerously high. Red shows that blood sugar is still very high. Purple is a little bit better. We like yellow. We like blue very much. With dark green, we like the numbers, but we have to be very careful because light green means that the numbers are too low and then you will have to give the cat honey immediately. It's more dangerous than black because they can go into a diabetic coma. And as you can see, during the time, those four months, it has gone much better. We don't see black anymore. We see nice purple. Um, and that's what we want to see, that during the meat cycle, it's nice blue and green um, and you can have US measurements here and you can also have lab results in here so it's it's a very good page I wish you lots of luck take care bye